Hey, I'm Curtis Stone and here are five reasons to watch Top Chef Masters. The first is because we have got ridiculous celebrities coming on to join us this season from Christine De Hendricks to Maroon 5. The second is we've got the best critics in the business. Ruth Reichel makes her debut as a critic on Top Chef Masters and she is ruthless. She's got an ax and she's not scared to swing it. Um, of course, you have to tune in for the delicious food that these chefs from all over the world, fr from all over the country are gonna be cooking. They're just amazing chefs and they're, they're just cooking beautiful, beautiful food. The competition's never been more fierce, which is number four, because this time the format is we have all the chefs in the one pool and one chef gets eliminated each week. So it's very different to, to that sort of safe, you know, feeling of being, well, only two are gonna go through. Now they're all in it and they've got a lot to lose. The pressure is much more intense because we have all the chefs in, in the one pool together. So we kicked it off with Restaurant Wars, which of course is where the chefs should be at their best because they're great chefs, but very interesting to watch master chefs have to compete like that because they go from owning six restaurants to being somebody else's uh, chef um, on one section. So it was really interesting to watch them do that. We had everything from fundraisers and fancy dinners and we had a proposal dinner because one guy wanted to propose for his um, to his girlfriend. We had all sorts of exciting things and the, the the one underlying factor that never changes is how much pressure is on these guys when they have to call. And the fifth reason, you're looking at it. I'm their host and talking to the uh, critics. Now chefs are always wondering what critics are saying about their food and for once I get to sit down with the critics and propose different things to them and sort of say, well the reason that they've done this is because of this. You know, so I get to talk about the food from maybe a bit more of a technical perspective, which mixes it up with the critics. And what I find is I'll ask a question and then have them argue it out, which is which has been really interesting. Of course I give my opinion on the food because I've got one, because I love eating. Um, but at the end of the day, it's the critics that make the decision on who's packing their knives at the end of the episode, which is just how I liked it, but I loved eating these guys' food. I mean they can really cool.